Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Um, and recently, Google I.O. just happened a couple days ago, and one of the big things that was announced was Android L. Um, it's the latest version of Android where they focus a lot on the design and the UI and that kind of stuff, uh, and some other cool features as well. But the big thing everyone's talking about is that UI. So, got me wondering, how do I get it? Like, now. I want it now. And then it turns out there is a way. Uh, Google released the developer previews, but only if you have a Nexus 5 or a Nexus 7 Wi-Fi only. The LTE version won't work. Um, but they did release that, so I've installed it on my Nexus 5 here and uh, figured I'd do a quick video to show you guys how to install it as well. Okay, so before you begin, um, this will erase the data from your Nexus 5 or Nexus 7, so make sure you back everything up, your photos, make sure everything is synced with Google, etc. Um, something else to know, these are previews. They're not fully functional, so expect some bugs. Now on the device, we're gonna go to settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, find build number and keep tapping it until it tells you that you are a developer. Mine says I already am a developer, but yours will say you are now a developer. Hit back, developer options, and then we're gonna turn USB debugging on. And then we're gonna click on this link to download the SDK manager. Save that to your desktop. Once that's done, you're gonna double click it and follow whatever it tells you to install. So in this case, I need to go to Java and download the JDK, accept the license. I'm on Windows 64. Hit yes. Follow that and wait for that to install. Eventually say, Installed, hit close. Then in the SDK, we're going to hit cancel and reopen it. And it should work from there. If it won't recognize that you installed the uh, Java kit, just restart your computer. If after a reboot, it still won't recognize in the installer that you have Java installed, here's a way to fix it. You're going to go to settings, control panel, and search control panel for environment variables and we're going to click on edit them and environment variables and then you're going to create a new one and in there you're going to put java home spelled just like that all caps underscore and then put the path to the jre which should be this you could try this and see if it works um if it doesn't you need to just find it so for me it was c program files java and then that so the path to that then click OK, click OK, click OK, and now run the installer again. And next, it should now find the kit. We're gonna hit next, hit next. And here you're gonna make a better location than this. Let's do just Android SDK like, oops, like that. And hit next, install, and wait for that. Once that's installed, you're gonna hit next and then start the SDK manager and hit finish. And when that opens up, wait for it to do its thing. Uh, under tools, you're gonna select Android SDK tools, platform tools, and build tools. And then make sure that all the things under Android L at least are checked off. And then we're gonna hit install packages accept license, hit install, and wait for that. Once it's done loading the packages, you can close it out. And then we're going to download the correct version of the preview for your device. So I'm using a Nexus 5 today, so that's what I'm gonna download. And download anyway. Save to the desktop. And wait for that to download. And then when that's finished downloading, you're gonna right click it and hit extract files. I'm going to just extract it here for now and let it create a new extracted folder. Then we're gonna take everything inside that folder and right click it and copy. And then you're gonna to go to wherever you installed the Android SDK. For me, it was C Android SDK. Then we should have platform tools and we're just gonna right click in here and paste. 
At this point, we're gonna plug the device in via USB. And then we're gonna type ADB devices. And if you have a serial number come up like that, that means your drivers are installed properly and we can continue. If you get a blank space under listed, uh, listed devices attached, you need to um, check out our site or check the link below to uh, get your USB drivers installed correctly before you can continue. Now, if you did get that though, you're gonna type ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. The device will reboot into bootloader mode and install some more drivers, hopefully. Okay, then we're gonna type fast boot OEM unlock. And this is going to unlock our bootloader. It is also the point where your data will go bye-bye. So just be aware, enter. At that point on the device, it's going to ask you to say yes or no. You're going to use the volume buttons to go up to yes, power to select, and now it should say unlocked at the bottom. Okay, then when it's done, you're gonna do flash hyphen all dot bat, hit enter and wait for it to flash. And then after it reboots, you're now running Android L. And there you go, guys. So now you're running uh, Android L on your Nexus 5 or Nexus 7. Um, if you are on another device, for example, uh, you can always wait for a custom ROM to come out that'll be based on Android L. I'm sure that will happen not too long from now. Um, so always check out the website, theunlocker.com. You can go to how to's, find your device, root it, then you can actually uh, find the other video for how to load a custom ROM and flash Android L on your device if you don't have a Nexus 5 or a Nexus 7. Um, if you do have a Nexus 5 or Nexus 7 and you just did this, there is also a way to undo everything. So I'm gonna put the link to that. It's my old video. It's the how to unroot the Nexus 5 video, but it will work for this to get you back to the other versions of Android. So check that out if you need it. Other than that, to keep up to date on everything that's happening on the website, go to Twitter, Facebook, Google+, um, and it's going to be at the unlocker with the E missing in the word unlocker or subscribe here to the YouTube channel. Um, and I'm kind of interested to see what you guys think of the new software. If you've played with it for a little bit, uh, reach out to me in the comments here or uh, on the site as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.